address it right off the bat. What's the, what's the inspiration between the silver hair? Oh, it's just the sun out here is really strong and it's dyed it. <laughs> nah, I just felt a couple of lads in my team have dyed their hair recently. I've never done it, so I felt like trying something new. Uh, you know, this is this is competition mode with Nations League and a spot to Copa America on the line. How does the attitude shift in the game? Uh, it's the same attitude we always have. Every time we come into camp, whether it's a friendly, a competition, we always want to win. Um, so, you know, the fact that there's a lot on the line, this is, you know, for a place in the semis and the finals of the Nations League, a chance to, you know, retain that trophy, win another one um, and keep it keep it to ourselves and not let anyone else take it off us. And also um, a chance to play in the Copa America, which is something, you know, we haven't, um, a lot of the boys haven't done before. Um, it's a massive tournament and something that we're all really excited to um, try and be successful in if we get the chance. Have you gotten, a, I guess, a stronger message from Greg and the staff? about, the, you know, these aren't the friendlies of the past two camps. This is this is more consequential. consequential. Um, not particularly. I mean, like, like I said, Greg pretty much goes into every camp, you know, um, defining the success of the camp is always, if we have two games, winning those two games first and foremost. So um, nothing changes from that perspective. Obviously, there's a little bit more on the line, but, um, you know, that's only extra motivation that we need to do well. And, um, you know, no matter what the opponents are, we take everything seriously. Have you gotten out and about around Austin and any local guy here? And if so, what have you done? Uh, I've not, no. I obviously played Sunday, so I got in got in late Monday, and then yesterday we trained, um, had had a lot of stuff on, so I haven't really had a chance. So it's just kind of um, rehab, prep, and getting ready for the game. Just thoughts on the training facility here? Yeah, every time I come to Austin, I enjoy it. Um, you know, it's a really good setup. I think a lot of the um, MLS training setups are really good now, but um, I really enjoy Austin every time I come. I know you don't need a lot of extra motivation for the reasons you just mentioned, but you know Trinidad, we know the history on the good side and the bad side with them. I mean, you played them, you played them a couple times. I know you were a part of the team in 2017, but um, is it different now that the team's been to a World Cup? That that's you know you've gotten back to a World Cup, is there, or is there still something extra when the U.S. faces Trinidad? Given, um, I think it might be a thought in the back of our minds. I mean, personally, obviously everyone takes their opportunity in moments uh, moments that are bad. And um, on the back of you know getting beat by Trinidad and not qualifying for the World Cup, that gave a lot of the guys, myself included, the opportunity to um, you know be called up at um, early stages in our careers, and I'm forever grateful for that. So um, you know it's in the back of our minds, but um, I don't think we need any more extra motivation. The fact that it's Trinidad, it could be anyone. We just want to win. You played Jamaica here in the World Cup qualifier. You played Grenada here for Nations League. What is it about Austin that makes it a great home field advantage? Um, well, I think the atmosphere has always been pretty good whenever we've played here. Um, the stadium's really nice stadium. The pitch is great, um, you know, and it really allows us to play our best football. What was uh, Paul Calagiri had a message for you guys? What was that like? Uh, you know, it was really, really inspiring just to uh, hear from him, you know, his journey from, you know, going from not even knowing what the national team was to being such an integral part of it. Um, and to say from his point of view that he thinks this is one of the best teams that the uh, US has ever had, it's, you know, it's obviously um, a huge compliment from an established player from back in the day. And, um, you know, it's really, um, really great that we get to, you know, honor past members of the, of the Brotherhood. Did you know about his goal? No, I didn't. I got to, uh, yeah, got to see that for the first time today. Enjoyed it. Yeah. And the importance of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like like you said, obviously Greg gave him the introduction that he you know played such an integral role in you know qualifying for that World Cup. Um, so yeah, no, it was a pleasure, a pleasure to have him, and he definitely uh, brought a strong message to the boys as well.